Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. I heard an agent say something and I wanted to discuss it. Uh, what the quote was, was never accept the first offer. And um, some of you probably know there's a saying out there that says, uh, all other things being equal, the first offer you get is normally the, the best offer. Um, so I wanted to sort of talk about that and sort of what my philosophy is on um, offers. So the real estate market is actually pretty efficient um, in most situations at determining price. It, it buyers and sellers, and when a property is a is a is a good deal, and a buyer and seller can make an agreement, that that price is usually well known. And I think there's an expectation out there among sellers that that there's some person out there, and I hear this a lot. They're from California, where prices are way more, and they'll come here and accidentally overpay for the house, so they want to list it really high. And um, I don't think that's true. I think that everybody understands that what value is. And if you look at three or four, five houses and look at some sold comps, you're going to know. Plus, you have appraisals and things like that. Um, so you know the val the market's pretty efficient. So you know the question you have to ask yourself is just very simple. Did the house have enough exposure and enough people look at it that made people want to make an offer? So I'll give you an example. We had a property recently. We put in the MLS. Within a week, we had 57 offers. We didn't underprice the property. The asset manager gave us a little bit lower, but it was it's a very efficient market, so everyone jumped on it because it was a little bit below list price. It ended up getting bid up about $20,000 over list price, so it was pretty substantial. But if you've had 20 people see your house and you finally get an offer and it's for 5000 under and you counter and that's as high as they're willing to go, that may be the best offer that you're going to get at that point in time. So there's not really a hard and fast rule for should you accept an offer or not or should you never accept the first. Um, I've seen it. I've seen people um, accept the first offer and then like two weeks later somebody calls saying well we'll we'll go over that you know we, we think you know we were willing to pay list or a little more if it falls out and I've seen situations where people have rejected the first offer and it was the best and then later on they ended up sell, settling and selling for less so there's not a hard and fast rule but as a general rule if 20 people have seen the house and you don't get an offer something's wrong but if you do get an offer and you've had a reasonable amount of exposure then um, that's probably close to market value, meaning, yes, people do lowball, but people that are really trying to get a house, and if you negotiate back and forth, and that's as high as they're willing to go, then sometimes that says a lot. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But don't, you know, whatever you've heard about definitely do this or definitely do that, I don't believe in any definitelys in real estate. I think that you should, uh, that there's, a, it's, there's more of an art to it than a science for getting the most money, especially since I specialize and getting the seller the most money out of the deal throughout the whole process and every part of the contract. So it's really important for me to um, explain that to clients and it's probably something that you should know out there as well, whether you're an agent or whether you're thinking about selling. So anyway, so I share that with you. That's my update for today and hope to see you on another video. Thanks.